Good morning. I am Lovecasting Live in Newport Beach, California, and this is your Thursday Namaste Today. Good morning and namaste and welcome to Namaste Today. My name is Christopher Wateki. I am a psychic astrologer and I call myself the Sensei to Serious Joy here to stand in my heart each day and walk in the light. Thanks so much for joining me in my light walk. I'm light walking across America and today I find myself in Newport Beach, California where all the California natives are out playing volleyball, having a good time. One of the reasons I love California, they get out, they do things to the people. I love just seeing people out in the world. And we're chugging along to the sun in Leo during a Venus retrograde at the same time in the same sign what that means is that we are getting closer and closer to our heart we're getting closer to what our heart truly desires and with venus retrograde we're getting close to that a place we might have lived in a past life i noticed in some of the comments that people did not realize what retrograde means so i'll just tell you right now retrograde always means to go back in time all right and remember there's no such thing as time so we're really going back to a place in space where we felt a certain way. So a Mercury retrograde is an intellectual. We go back intellectually, we go back and look at it. But a Venus retrograde is when we go back to a place when we used to receive something different in life. And because Venus is in Leo, this is a time when we used to receive love differently. So it's kind of a powerful Venus retrograde, taking us back to a different place in time when we received love differently. Now, I'll also say it's very possible that your Venus retrograde will take you back to a great place in your past life. And it's possible that your Venus retrograde will take you back to a not so great place in your past life. Each count, okay? Because no matter what your reference point is in relativity, once you have one of the reference points, you're free to manifest wherever it is you want to go. You just got to know where you are in space-time, and then you can manifest from there. So try to enjoy the ride. Don't freak out too much and see what pops up. So without further ado, I think it's time to check with my guides and the planets for Thursday. Okay. Now oh, we have actually the, yeah, here we go. There they are. Hi, guys. So today we are actually moving from a very chaotic step 13 to a step 14. And today really kind of is the bumpy bridge. That's the image they're giving me. It's kind of like we're on a bumpy bridge. So a lot of this morning will be bumpy. Try to respond differently uh, to all you know, whatever the bumps are and try to respond as if you're already getting what your heart desires. Try to respond as if everything is going right for you. I know it's difficult, but this is what masters do. They rise above the situation in a given moment. Now, step 14 rules the day. And what they were calling me to is kind of the bridge between 13 and 14. Although most breakdowns or most like, uh, let's just say wake up calls would have probably happened between yesterday and this morning. You might have a bit of a wake-up call as we move from step 13 to step 14 during the day. And according to my charts, that'll happen around 11.30 a.m. Pacific, 2.30 p.m. Uh, Pacific. No, excuse me, Eastern. Sorry, I'm in trance. Uh, and we'll send a text for that. But the point is, is that that switch is going to be a bit of a bump. And with the moon in Taurus, which is what they're also showing me, um, we are manifesting as we go. So that's why I was saying it's important to go ahead and respond as if you're already there. Respond as if things are moving forward and rise above the situation. Because with the moon in Taurus, we are in fact uh, beginning to now gel and manifest in concrete terms what we're trying to create. So you might see in your daily life today, for instance, a struggle. Maybe you're trying to get a job. Maybe you're trying to, to manifest a new car loan. Maybe you're trying to manifest uh, an entry to something that your heart really wants. And all of the issues around it are really bumpy. Things aren't going the way you want. Um, you're cranky. You don't have the energy for it. What they're showing me is, yes, sweet child, this is all correct. <laughs> okay. Each little bump in the road may be a place that you might have screwed it up in the past. So you want to respond conscientiously, wax on, wax off to each moment is what they're showing me. And you want to be aware that, you know, you're not just getting through a hard day. You're creating policy, moon and Taurus. You're setting foundation, moon and Taurus. Now they bring me to the Pisces energy. 
So yeah, with with Chiron and Neptune, there's this constant. It's almost like wax on, wax off in a um, karate kid sort of way. Um, we are constantly having to remind yourself that it's okay. Everything will be okay. Nothing will go wrong, and you will be okay because you say it's okay. Now this has to happen in two different areas. On the one hand, with how you feel about everything, it's like I feel grouchy. That's okay. I feel fat. That's okay. All right. It's okay what you feel. No matter what you feel, it's okay. The other place, which is really I think what they're pointing to, is uh, Neptune at nine degrees, which is when you're about to take action to get into a moment of Zen. So as you're bumping along here and you're trying to transition from where your heart doesn't belong to where your heart does belong, the new job, the new you know person you want to date, whatever it is that you do, that is, yes, Venus retrograde, a reflection of a past life. I don't have to say that anymore, right? Then when you're taking action, that actual moment where things are going right or aren't going right, um, they're showing me this in the moment of action is when you should be most spiritual. Okay, so think of the sacredness of a golf swing. They keep showing me a golf swing, and I'm not a golfer, so I'm like, really? You know, they're trying to say Tiger Woods. It's like, that's the third golf swing they showed me, so I'm going to just say it. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll play ball. But um, a golf swing as in, you know, I've, I've tried to play golf, and maybe that's why they're showing me is because, you know, when you try to get that swing down, you have to totally relax your whole body, not think about your taxes, you know what I mean? Like, completely, you know, and swing and you have to become one with the whole stroke so they're showing me that this kind of um, practice of each conflict that comes to you that's not like going the right way that's causing electricity that's causing frustration the magic process is it's okay and then get into a total Zen before you take the action so that you can be guided by spirit so that you can swing perfectly it's very important. Uh, they're pointing me to the North Node. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot to tell you. There, uh, it's very important uh, with the North Node at Step 2 Libra that your focus is always your feelings. Okay, So the way to transition into where your heart really desires, the way to transition out of negative thinking, the way to transition out of addiction, the way to transition out of anxiety, whatever it is you're trying to transition out of, what you do in the actual moment is you are mindful of your feelings moment to moment. You nurture your feelings moment to moment, okay? So if I was uh, sensing you right now on the balance beam, I would say pay attention to your feelings. If you were launching off uh, in a, a space shuttle or up into space or trying something really in, insanely great but could go insanely wrong, I would say pay attention to your feelings. If you're about to talk to your wife and tell her that it just doesn't work anymore for you, I would say, Pay attention to your feelings, okay? This is how masters run their life anyways. They run their life from their feelings. They feel their own feelings bouncing off of the subjects happening in front of them. And so being mindful of your feelings is the critical step they're showing me, step two, to ruling the day, specifically with the moon in Taurus um, because we are manifesting. And I'll just say we are manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. As I look around here and they're, and they're saying it's a manifestation day, boy, they aren't kidding. Let me just add it up. Pardon the jet plane there, noise pollution. We're manifesting with the moon in Taurus today. We're manifesting with Mars at step 28. We're manifesting with Mercury at step 28. We're manifesting with Jupiter at step 28. And we're manifesting with Saturn at step 28. <laughs> and we're manifesting with Uranus energy, which is, you know, like the noise of that airplane that just busted through without asking. That's the kind of interruption you might expect today. And I'd recommend you handle it like I just did. You just keep manifesting and let not let the noise sort of get to you. So it's a powerful day. It's a powerful day of moving forward with where you really belong. And in essence, the step 13 to step 14, this is the last thing they're showing me, is back to the beginning, um, is the switch. Now in 13, you are figuring out where you belong. That was a lot of what yesterday is. And in 14, step 14, you know where you belong. So step four, I love plus I, I belong four equals I think. So you come to a I think I belong here and you stay focused on that I think I belong here through the whole transition. Whatever it is, the contract, the mortgage, or for many of my clients, a lot of this back to heart is simply living in their own life and not going crazy. Living in their own life and not overreacting to their kids or to their husband or to their 
neighbor's insanity. And I have to say, like I said, uh, the day, couple last days, it's like, if that's your reaction and that's new and that's more joyful than last year, you're on the right path, okay? We have to be serious about our joy in order to manifest serious joy. And in the beginning, it feels all serious. Just saying, all right? So stay in your heart, know where you belong, and just keep saying to yourself in your mind, I know I belong here, I know I belong here. Live by your philosophies and manage your feelings moment to moment. I know. I hope I put out a positive message just now. I did. They said, okay, <laughs> because it's like, to me, it was like a lot of warnings, but I just think that there's a lot of people out there who are having just an uncomfortable time is what they show me. Very uncomfortable in their own skin. And you know, folks, we've been on the earth for a long time. We were used to people making our shoes, but life used to be a lot more uncomfortable than this. This is just a couple of minutes of spiritual discomfort. So you could get to some real serious joy. All right, my friends, I'd like to remember a couple of things. Remember, we are all one, all right? And if you're worried about money, if you're worried about time, don't be. There's plenty where that came from. Remember, I love you and live, love, be. Oh.